Donald Trump supporters may have a tough time finding love online. A survey by MillionaireMatch.com found single men may not want to admit to supporting the Donald if they're trying to get a date. <laughs> and here to talk more about that from MillionaireMatch.com is Darren Schuster. Thank you so much for being with us today. Thank you very much. I had a question. I was curious, who came up with this idea to begin with to do a study on this particular subject? Sure. Well, we have access uh, to hundreds and hundreds of thousands of members. It's a 15-year-old site that caters to affluent people. And we were just curious one day in a meeting, uh, how do these millionaires react? How do these affluent people react to uh, individuals from other parties and uh, across party lines. Are they willing to date? Are they not willing to date? How does it affect their dating chances? And doesn't this really kind of follow along the same idea that you're not supposed to talk politics on a first date kind of thing? Isn't that kind of what this boils down to? <laughs> there, every expert agrees. When you go on a first date or second or even third date, maybe even a date with your wife, do not talk about politics and religion. It typically does not end well. How did the survey break down? Like, what were the, the numbers involved? How many people were surveyed, and, and what did it say exactly? Sure. In the first several days, we had a response rate of about 1,200-plus members giving us a few answers about whether or not they would be willing or not to date somebody from the other political party. So, for example, the great majority of male Trump supporters will date a female Democrat Anytime. No problem. No problem. They don't care. It's not the same way with female Democrats. They are not willing to vote f or to date, rather, a Trump supporter. And in fact, if somebody is not politically active and they are, they would rather not date that individual as well. So if you're not a Trump supporter, you're okay. If you're a Trump supporter, you uh, are limiting your chances. I'm just taking notes here. <laughs> <laughs> the, the, the very important stuff here. Dan is single. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, let's talk about, is there a candidate that is favorable and, and is getting a good response if you're a Bernie Sanders supporter or a Hillary Clinton supporter? We really concentrated on Trump versus not Trump. Uh, and what we found was that uh, if you're a male Trump supporter, again, you're willing to, to date anybody in the, in the Democrat, but you're not even really, uh, and you're willing to date a Cruz supporter. But oh, if you're okay. a female Trump supporter, you won't even be willing to, to vote, uh, to date rather, a Cruz supporter. So hmm. you really wow. have to have not only the same political party, but you have to have the same candidate in mind, and you have to be uh, as politically engaged uh, as, as this other individual. Have you done this kind of survey before, and is it always sort of this way, or is Trump just really the one Republican who stands out like a, you know, he's very polarizing? He, have other election courses shown uh, the we same We have thing? not run this survey in the past. We do plan on running them every six months to see how things change, not only in terms of political uh, candidates for office, of course, but uh, other political issues across the board to see the differences between genders. Okay. Your advice, just stay away from it. Don't just don't put it out there on your... Talk about the meal, talk about the weather, talk about the news, <laughs> don't talk about politics, and don't talk about religion. And Very especially good. don't talk about Trump. And whatever <laughs> you do, stay away from anything related to Trump. <laughs> <laughs> all right. I don't think that's Thank you so much. Thank you, guys. Came appreciate all the appreciate way it. from California to talk to us today, Thank so we appreciate your time. Thank, Thank you. you. All right.